Hi folks, how are you doing? I'm Ross Minton and this is Grow Your Own Life Gardening. So today I thought I'd talk to you about my Hugel culture beds. I hope I haven't butchered that pronunciation. Basically, it's a way of filling up a raised bed uh, for almost no cost whatsoever. So for the last uh, probably six months, uh, I've told people on the uh, allotment site that I've got two big empty raised beds at the back of my plot and then they can chuck all of their weeds in there. I haven't uh, stipulated what weeds, I've said anything and everything. So there's been nettles, there's even been a bit of bindweed, there's all kinds of stuff has gone into the raised bed. Um, and the idea is that you fill it up with as much organic matter as possible, even a few logs, twigs, sticks and everything. And as that slowly rots down, uh, it obviously provides tons of nutrients um, for your garden and for growing in. Now, uh, a lot of people say that obviously when you start the Hugel culture system, that you've got to give it 12 months or sometimes even two years before you can plant into it. Uh, but that's a bit of a myth. Um, obviously, if you've got a two foot Hugel culture bed and you've just started it, you don't want to be putting carrots in there that will probably go down to a foot deep. Uh, but what you can do is straight away is start a shallow bed. So what I've done with one of the beds is uh, it's predominantly now full of weeds. So I've then capped it off with a good thick layer of cardboard. Now the cardboard in the UK, um, even if it's uh, coloured printed, uh, is printed with uh, soy ink. Uh, I know this because I used to be a packaging designer. So it's actually uh, not harmful anymore. It used to be harmful many moons ago. Uh, the same with uh, glossy magazines, but they're actually uh, not harmful. Now I still don't use glossy paper uh, or glossy magazines in my compost for the simple re reason is uh, you're not quite sure of, uh, of the gloss, whether it's plastic based or not. Uh, but if it's not glossy, if it's matte, and it was produced in the UK, and it's all good for your compost pile, it's fine. So once the weeds are down, uh, and I've leveled them out and stamped on, and as you can see, I get inside the bin and everything, uh, and um, basically compact it as, as, as best as possible with my feet, and then put this really good thick layer of cardboard on. Now that should help, uh, one, stop the light going down to any seeds that are in there and making them germinate and sprout. Uh, it also adds a layer so uh, it, it keeps anything like bindweed and, and stuff down and then what will happen is over time that will get lower and lower and then I will top, keep topping up the bed with more and more fresh compost uh, and I'll do it after every harvest. I'll put in a few inches more compost, a few inches more compost and before I know it uh, the bed will be solid compost. If you look back on some of my old videos on the Grow Your Own Life channel, you'll see the way I emptied out a Hugel culture bed, uh, which was basically full of twigs uh, and brambles and bracken and other stuff. And then eventually uh, it was planted up with cabbages and it was flipped over. And after 12 months, uh, all those weeds turned into the most amazing compost. The compost, which is actually now in my greenhouse <laughs> and is where I grow my tomatoes. So it just goes to show that it does actually work. So what I've done with, uh, with this bed uh, over here is uh, I've once I put the cardboard down and I've topped it up with the old spent compost from my potatoes I've then planted it up with a quick lettuce crop now that should keep me uh, in cut and come again lettuce for for quite a while actually and hopefully take me right up until the fr first frosts come um, because it shouldn't be too hot so the lettuce shouldn't, shouldn't bolt uh, but uh, because obviously lettuce is quite shallow rooting all I needed was a few inches of compost on top of the cardboard so I've gone from having a bed full of weeds, or dead weeds, and, and unusable compost, to having a bed that's now usable for any shallow crop. Uh, and it's just quite a really nifty way of doing it. I was, I was short on growing space, um, and now I've got an extra lettuce bed. So, I hope that helps. As always, take care. Speak soon. Nope.